Hello and uh, welcome to another Corel Aftershot Pro 3 tutorial. Today I want to take a look at um, changing colors, tweaking colors. And I don't mean um, monochrome and I don't mean just grabbing the vibrance or saturation and, and going to town on an image. I'm talking about specifically the idea that you can individually modify colors in various ways and using the adjustment layer you can actually modify in just a specific area so let me demonstrate we have a, a nice little uh, scene here this is a, a small cascade and it's one of those images that you wish had some fall colors maybe and you looked at it and went oh if only this was yellow this would be fantastic you know these nice green leaves are pretty but you know if this was fall colors then wow right so what you can do is um, we can mask off this area. I'm going to simply do it very quickly. Obviously, if you're doing it, um, you can be as careful as you wish to be. And what I'm going to do is just use a brush. And I will go and uh, smear some stuff here. I'm just going to do, like I said, some real quick adjustments. Do this here, blah blah blah, etc. etc. I'm saying something super interesting. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so this is my super quick. Keep in mind it's not going to be great. So, in your plugins, depending on how many plugins you have, you'll have a different uh, number of tabs, possibly. I have a color equalizer, and this has a number of tabs as well, and this has vibrant saturation hue and luminance. Luminance being sort of the lightness and uh, you know saturation is obviously most of us are fairly familiar with that uh, but the one that I wasn't all that familiar with but have grown to really like uh, varying amounts depending on how much you want to think of your the, what you're doing is cheating versus art. If you're creating landscape photography as art making modifications to it like cloning things out uh, playing with uh, contrast, the curves, all the other things that you do to adjust the image to taste, you're, you're essentially making art. How far you take that is up to you. So because we're on the adjustment layer one, I'm going to go to my hue. And in this case, all these greens, I want those to be yellow. Now in the hue, if you're not familiar, and again, I was only recently kind of really got to understand this stuff, was that the way that this works is you can take the color from one end of the spectrum to the other. So in this case, these green can be pushed to blue, and you can see how they become much more blue, or they can be taken to yellow, and you can see how they become much more yellow. And again, if I had been more careful with the work I was doing, um, you know, you, you'll have a, a better result. So you can find all the spots where you miss, and you can mask in and it takes care of it that way. And so you again, you can play with different amounts depending on to taste if you want it to have a you know a, again a more natural look or a more, you know, um, neon look. So I can go here and it kind of looks like, you know, early fall colors have taken taken hold here. And then again, you can also go to your luminance panel and I can raise the yellows or I can raise the greens or whatever. And again, in this case, I'm only doing adjustments on my adjustment layer. And so I can uh, make things lighter or brighter. And, and you can see it gets a little bit darker if I go all the way left here. And it could be, again, depending on what effect you're going for, you know, you, you can have a nice little scene that you sort of create from, you know, a photo you've taken. So it's you're not just limited to what you see and having to play with contrast and overall saturation, you can select specific areas using your masking tool. And uh, you can check out my video on layers. I think I have a video on layers that talks a bit about uh, these guys. And um, then using your color equalizer, you can have a, a lot of fun. So let's say I go in, um, to my main layer and then decide I want to play with uh, the greens. You could take the greens of the entire thing and monkey with them if you want. So go back to hue. And then you know you can make them all kind of yellowish, and so now you've got a scene where even the moss is turned a little bit, 
uh, golden. So again, it's it's up to the senior after, right? You can go the other direction and turn it, you know, horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, double click resets it. And again, luminance works the same way. You can make the greens brighter. You can make them darker. You know, real extreme here. If you wanted to darken off the scene, you can make it. And again, this is only affecting the greens, but it does, you know, it, it, because green isn't a single value, it, it's obviously affecting sort of a range. And so just my encouragement, as always, is to start out being subtle and then, you know, go bananas once you kind of understand how it works. And uh, for, again, for me, I'm a real big proponent of using adjustment layers uh, simply because I changing all of the scene in a uniform way uh, does not seem natural to me. So in, again, in this scene, let's say I wanted to change this little rock here. See how it's, it's, it's a little lighter than some of the other areas back here. So if I were to just change lumens or change whatever, I may want to decide that I need to change the values in, in a different amount. So I could use the adjustment layer and you know, mask off um, an area, make an adjustment to it, and then do a different adjustment, you know, create a whole separate adjustment layer, and then do the same thing, you know, back back here, and, and maybe I, I do a, a different adjustment to it, right? And again, just again, depending on the art you're after, you know, you play with these different things. So this is the color equalizer tool. Uh, like I said, I find it to be very useful. I'm going to delete off this junk here, and this as well. But uh, have a play with this stuff. It's really pretty cool to have a scene come in and um, go to your luminance and you know give it a tweak you know play with your saturations I find for me that doing um, yellows in a lot of woodland scenes is important because of the, I don't know if it's just the camera I'm using or if it's you know there everything's just very subtle where I'm at I, I don't go for super punchy I still like to keep it fairly natural um, but by having the ability to individually tweak um, maybe let's go here. You know, like these yellows back here. Maybe you want to make them lighter or darker, for example. You know, and you can, you can do that um, by simply going to your color equalizer, going to your luminance, and playing with it, saturation, playing with it. And then again, if you wanted to do something more dramatic, you click the hue and play with that. Anyway, I've rambled on too long. Color equalizer. Fantastic to play with. Give it a shot. Use it in conjunction with your layers and um, really take your photography to the next level into the realm of making some actual art. Anyway, have a good one.